the tool attic here. Got to have a follow-up uh, video to the uh, the one the other day. Uh, you know, all the haters. Word up. Thank you for all your hate. Love your hate. Love your hate. Um, you know, um, I don't care. Um, I guess this was a response to that video as to uh, why I um, snafu'd on it, you know, and um, went off on Harbor Freight. You know, um, this, the whole situation that's going on, um, I think it stir, puts a lot of stress on a lot of people. And, you know, for me, I guess it really, I guess that's what it kind of seemed like to me right there is that stress really uh, got to me there. Um, the biggest thing is, is that I can't stand Eric Shitty. Um, I don't care about the guy. I think he's... Um, I think he's a terrible person, um, based off everything I know. Um, I don't know him personally, don't want to know him personally. Don't want anything ever from Barber Freight, don't care. Um, you know, and I don't speak about all their tools badly because I've never used all of their tools. Um, do I care to use all their tools? No. Do I own their tools? Yes, I do. Um, unfortunately. Um, will I, will I get rid of them? Uh, yeah, I will definitely be trading out everything to make sure that the few that I do have and the few that I own, I will never, I will make sure that I do not do business with Harbor Freight at all costs from this day forward. I think the biggest problem is for me is, is that as a small business owner, I am sticking up for all small businesses. When you see a corporation that's, uh, you know, they're literally bragging about what they do. It's, it's just, you know what, there's other things going on in this world that you need to stop and, and, and realize that what you're, what you're saying about your company and how you're perceiving it to be is just not something that you should probably do. That's all there is to it. You know, when I'm, when I do a good deed, I don't go and look for something, somebody to say, oh yeah, CP did a good deed, man. He's a good man. I don't, I do it because it makes me feel good, okay? I don't really announce that, you know? Now, in YouTube, it's definitely different, you know? Hence my giveaway and all that. I am appreciative of my subscribers, appreciative of what I've accomplished so far, and appreciative of all the nice things that all the people have said to me. Um, does it feel good? Yes. Will it feel good to give somebody something? Yes. Do I care about my... Um, Subscriber count? Um, no, not really. I really don't. Like I said before, if I never get any farther than what I am right now, I'd be happy. I'm completely happy with what I'm doing because it's fun, and I'm not putting a ton of effort into it. I, I just show you guys my stuff. I give you some decent advice, and I give some, I give you some of you, help you some of you out. I've helped a bunch of you out, um, and, and that's all that matters. You know, at the end of the day, if I can do something for somebody and, and and help them out in some way, that's all it is. It's about lending a hand, okay? Um, you know, you, people like to twist your words, you know, these, these you know, and, and you know the best part about that video is, is that sometimes you got to do something like that on YouTube here just so you can pull out those trolls that have been sitting there watching your channel. They're not even subscribers. Okay, you know, they're not even subscribers, but they're waiting for a moment for them to get on your channel and try to bash on you and this and that. You know, they're they're obviously terrible people. And these are the type of people that are Harbor Freight fanboys, okay? And they, they lurk on the Harbor Freight fanboys channels and, and, you know, they talk shit about the tool guys because they're jealous. They're absolutely jealous. I don't watch the Harbor Freight fanboys channels. Because I don't like what they have to say. Everything that they talk about is irrelevant. Everything that they do is irrelevant to the actual professional mechanics field. Hell, half of them aren't even mechanics. So uh, they have no idea what it's like to actually do something or work on a car or be in a situation. Now, I am uh, recently taking up a second career. Um, or so to speak, a second job where I am um, driving a semi uh, to help 
deliver goods. Am I doing this because I want a pat on the back? Absolutely not. I am doing this because I want to help out and it's an opportunity for me to make money while there's downtime in the automotive field. Okay, that is all there is to it. And anybody that's not, if, if, you're, if you're smart, you would jump into this same opportunity right now because while you have the opportunity in the downtime, you might be able to make a career change that's, that's, uh, that's good for you. That's all there is to it. And that's the, that's the bottom line for me is, is that, you know, I am multi-versatile in about every aspect. I'm multi-versatile in the tools that I have. Multi-versatile. I mean, I am, I love Mac, but you guys see this is a Cornwell toolbox. There's Snap-on. I mean, there's Matco. There's everything in this toolbox. There's Capri. Um, you know, there's Lyle. All the tools that I believe are quality in the world to make a great mechanics, a great make make a mechanics life easier. There's a lot of great products out there, and I just don't think that Harbor Freight has a place in this in this field at all. I really don't. That's my honest to God feeling, and I'm sorry if you don't like it. Like I said, you don't have to follow my channel. You don't have to watch it. If you take the time to comment on this channel. Don't expect a reply. Don't expect me to even care because I'm done caring about people who are non-subscribers on this channel making comments. I will ignore you and move on with my life because obviously you're only here for one reason. And if you think that that one reason is good enough to get my attention, you are dead wrong. Okay, that is all there is to it. I don't care about what everybody else does in the world. I care about what I do. I don't care. You know what? I'm here to show you the best and help you out the best way I know how because I have had a fulfilled life and opportunity to, to be able to do what I've done and know what I know. I've been able to work with multiple tool companies before. I've been able to do things that other people haven't been able to do, other mechanics haven't been able to do. That is an asset that not a lot of people can say they can do. I know one other YouTube subscriber or one other YouTuber that has had the same opportunities I have and it shows. It absolutely shows. You know, we understand this type of things that <laughs> that go through this industry, okay? And it's no different than the trolls because the trolls, I know those guys. Those are the guys that got on my truck and complained every week and they never paid their bills. They lied. They were worthless, okay? And that's exactly what these trolls are. They're the same people that are seeking attention all the time. They're the uh, Jason Chapmans of the world, if you, if you will. Um, and for those of you who know, that's exactly who they are. Um, you know, they're, they're all... He likes, to, he likes to pick on me, so I thought I'd just pick on him for a little bit. You know, because he's, he's, he's one of those guys that keeps making uh, accounts, different accounts to troll me. You know, you got all these guys. That, you go through the effort. That's the funny part. I feel, I'm completely flattered that you go through the effort to make new YouTube accounts um, just to just to try to ride me on my channel when I block you. Um, I, I think it's absolutely you. You have nothing better to do. So you're either you're either on disability or you're worthless. Uh, you're living in your mom's basement. I mean, those are the things. You don't have a job. You don't have a real name. I love it when the guys that don't have a real name try to ask me for my real name. I mean, they're, they think they're smart. Clearly, they're ignorant. Did I need to make this video? No. But I thought it was a good one that I calmed down and I kind of, you know, basically let my feelings out about how I care about what's going on in this world right now. And that I'm, I am willing to do and, take, and go the steps that it takes to help the people out that, I, that need to be helped out in this world right now. Um, I don't want to have the drama, okay, but sometimes I'm passionate. I'm passionate about small businesses, and I'm passionate about corporations railroading these small businesses. Uh, I've heard people on my account say they didn't dis they disagree with me, but that's not the truth. You know, Harbor Freight takes business from places like Ace and True Value, who are independently owned, um, and they're, they're, they take care of their customers 100% better. They don't play coupon games. They don't play, um, you know, uh, product games where, you know, we take this product and make it look like this product and, 
you know, or, you know, we don't build something. They are, they are, they are honest people that are just trying to make a living and sell a good product. And that's the difference between them and Harbor Freight. Harbor Freight is trying to reverse engineer everything, make it seem like it's awesome, and it's cheap garbage. I don't care if you like it. They got very few things that I, I suggest people, I don't suggest anybody to buy it. I'm not going to, if you ask me about your U.S. General uh, toolbox, I mean, I'm, you guys are cool. If you got it, that's fine. But I'll tell you what right now, in my honest opinion, that thing's a piece of shit. Um, it's, it's, I've used one, I've used a 44 inch and we destroyed it in less than two months. So I, that's my honest to God feelings about a U.S. General. I think for the longevity, there's so much better stuff out there that you can get a better value out of that is a decent price and you can do it a smarter way. You, 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 when you go to Harbor Freight, it's you giving up because you don't want to, it's because you don't want to figure out a better way. You don't want to put in the effort. That's the way I look at it is. Harbor Freight's the easy way out, okay? You go to Harbor Freight and buy tools because you don't want to try to find something better. You don't want to go somewhere else. That's what Harbor Freight, it's the lazy man's tool. That's all there is to it. Lazy man's tool because quite frankly, uh, I mean, I don't see very many U successful YouTube channels that are using Harbor Freight tools. Um, and if they do, they use them for a short period of time, they disappear. You know why? Because they're junk. Sorry. I know you guys just can't get over that fact, but the truth is the truth. And that's all that there is to it. I always appreciate the great subscribers I have, and I always appreciate good, reasonable discussions. But just remember, guys, I'm tired of the people that are using... Oh, you know, another thing before I sign off this, I also want to add in... These bigger channels that keep using you, literally channelers. I see all these guys that are mimicking shit that I do after I do it. Um, I think it's hilarious. But I also notice that it's not just me. They use other smaller channels too. They're so uncreative that they literally pick on these little channels to make their own content to make money. That's what YouTube's about to some of these bigger channels, guys. It's not about that to me. That's why I'm making an honest video. Always. You know, I don't care. You know, people get mad about me getting Capri stuff. Capri's an awesome company. I believe in them. I've been bought, I bought them before I even had anything to do with them. And I'm still going to continue to buy from them. They're a great company. Mac, Matco, Snap-on, Cornwell, Lyle, Steelman. Uh, I can go all, all day long on this. Blackhawk, Proto. I mean, you want me to keep going, I can keep going. Um, you know, I mean... Um, there's so many great tech in, <laughs> there's so many great tool companies that you can deal with other than Harbor Freight, so you have no excuse. And, uh, <coughs> excuse me, throat's getting dry, it's not COVID, so calm down. Um, you know, these bigger channels are so lazy, that's what they do, is they can't, uh, sorry, I gotta get a drink. They can't come up with creative content, so that's what they do, is they steal from these smaller channels. You don't believe me? Go look at some of their stuff. Look at the dates that the videos were released, and then look at other people's videos and smaller channels. I know a lot of you guys in the tool community can tell. And you'll see that after somebody else does something, you'll watch these uncreative tool channels do something that another smaller tool channel has already done. Or take content from a smaller tool channel's and put it on their own page because they're that lazy. All they do is sit around all day and look for YouTube content because they're actually not working. And you know what the best part about it is for me? It comes natural because I'm actually out working all day long and actually thinking of things when I'm working like, oh, this would be cool. You know, there's probably a lot of guys that might know this. It's the difference between somebody who works hard and somebody who doesn't. <laughs> Uh, you know, you may have gotten to be a big channel because you, you know, stole, but I guess what? Your fake days are all, all coming to an end, you know? People are here to call you out on this shit because we know what's going on. And, uh, you know, it is what it is, fellas. But anyways, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this rant. At least you got a beautiful toolbox to look at on this, I guess. <laughs> Appreciate you watching. Remember, like, comment, share, subscribe, ring that bell. We'll catch you on the next one.